in a world filled with noise and chaos, we seek clarity and truth. Join us on Edify as we dive into contemporary issues and explore them through the Christian lens. Guided by the Bible, we aim to inspire and uplift. Welcome to Edify, enlightening minds, transforming hearts. Welcome back to Edify. Today we tackle a challenging question. Should Christians participate in civil disobedience? What should we as believers do when faced with a law that appears to conflict with biblical principles that impact our ability to freely practice our religious beliefs? Does Romans 13, 1 to 8 demand blind submission to authority? How about in the context of the whole Bible? Would we say that Daniel and his Hebrew friends disobeyed lawful authority? Does resisting an unjust law, according to Romans 13, 2, constitute resistance against God? When rulers become a terror to good conduct, how should a Christian respond? Civil disobedience for purposes of this discussion can be defined as purposeful, non-violent action or refusal to act by a Christian who believes such action or inaction is required of him or her in order to be faithful to God and which he or she knows will be treated by the governing authorities as a violation of law. So is civil disobedience warranted any time the government commands what God has forbidden or forbids what God commands. There are several biblical examples of civil disobedience. And let's consider some compelling examples from the Bible. In Daniel chapter 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to King Nebuchadnezzar's golden image. They chose to obey God rather than man, even under threat of death. Similarly, in Acts chapter 5, verse 29, Peter and other apostles declared, we must obey God rather than human beings when commanded to stop teaching in Jesus' name. Daniel and his friends disobeyed authority to stay faithful to God. Their actions highlight obeying God over unjust laws. Resisting unjust laws isn't resisting God if those laws contradict his commands. Obeying God is paramount. Faithfulness to God takes precedence. God's law is supreme. Let's look at some modern examples. Historical figures like Martin Luther King Jr. demonstrated civil disobedience by peacefully protesting segregation laws, drawing inspiration from their faith to fight for justice. The Bible teaches us to stand against injustice in a manner that reflects Christ's love and truth. As Proverbs chapter 31 verse 8 to 9 says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly and defend the rights of the poor and needy. So when faced with a conflicting law, Believers should prioritize God's commands. Obey God first, pray for wisdom and guidance. Seek peaceful legal means to address the issue. Consult spiritual leaders, stand firm in faith, advocate for change respectfully. Trust God's sovereignty and stay true to the biblical principles. In 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 3 to 10, Paul urges the Corinthian church to be commendable in every way, enduring hardships, beatings, imprisonments, and riots. He emphasizes purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, and genuine love. This is a powerful admonishment for us today. As Christians, our actions should reflect Christ's teaching 
even in the face of injustice. So how then should a Christian respond? I like what Micah chapter 6 verse 8 says. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. This verse summarizes God's expectations of his people, emphasizing three key principles. Number one, to act justly. This means to live with fairness, integrity, and a commitment to doing what is right. It involves treating others with equity and ensuring that our actions promote justice in society. Number two, love mercy showing kindness compassion and forgiveness towards others is crucial mercy involves not only refraining from harm but actively doing good and showing empathy number three walk humbly with your god this calls for a life of humility recognizing our dependence on god and living in accordance with his will it means putting God first and seeking to live in a way that honors Him. Romans chapter 13, verse 1 to 8, urges us to respect authorities, but not blind submission. Obey authorities within God's law. Scripture shows God's law is supreme. There are several examples we can look at. The examples of Daniel and Peter. Disobedience is justified when laws contradict God's commands. God's authority is ultimate. So we must balance respect with faithfulness. Obey God over man. Thank you for joining us in this episode. Remember, our actions should always reflect Christ's love and truth. Stay tuned for more enlightening topics. Please share your thoughts and questions on what you might want us to discuss in the next episode. Until then, may God guide and bless your efforts in seeking justice and peace. I'm Robert. Stay blessed and keep shining the light of Christ. Goodbye.